Um, let's take a call, actually. We're going to go to Paul, who's a Newcastle fan. Harvey Barnes is just as good as Sancho. I love this sort of stuff. Paul, talk to me. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, if you look at the... Oh, yeah, I'm good, mate. Yeah, thanks. But um, I nearly crashed my car when you uh, were talking about Sancho and people like this. And, uh, you know, the fact that you sort of made um, Harvey Barnes's transfer being sort of quite just an average kind of signing. Well, if you look at Sancho and you look at... Um, oh, the right winger, um, Anthony. Yeah. Uh, probably... 100 million probably worth in today's market if they had the same form that you bought the match because it must be worth 30% more nowadays. Um, and then you've got a guy, 34 million, scored more goals than both of them put together for the last three, four seasons. Um, just want you to explain why your team's players are worth all this money and like Sancho, give them another chance, this, that and the other when you're just in bounds a little bit. I'd like, I'd like. I mean, Paul, I'd like to come back at you and start getting into an argument about Sancho against against Barnes. But the honest answer actually is Newcastle are better at transfer business than Manchester United. Um, oh, we pay, yeah. we, we we pay silly wages and silly transfer fees. And as much as I like Anthony and Sancho, we have to make them work because nobody else is going to buy them from us. Um, but talk about uh, Newcastle and Harvey Barnes. Uh, no, I. I I don't think it's a bad signing for you. I just think it's a, I think it's, it's an Eddie Howe type signing where it will probably work out. But my yeah. point is, I think with the money that Newcastle have got, maybe looking at it for, as an outsider, and I know how happy Newcastle fans are, and I'm sure you're really happy. I just think at some point there will be a stage where you are going for the Mbappes and the Harlands of this world, but you're not at that point yet. So Harvey Barnes <laughs> is a player that I think Eddie Howe will go and do probably do wonders again with like he did with Trippier and Dan Byrne. Yeah, but if um, Eddie Howe type signs, as you put it there, like Gimeres, either. Mm. Um, Bottom, Tenali. I love Tenali as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so if we can make stars rather than have the attitude of um, already mega stars and mm. he can keep the unit working as a team instead of individuals, then I think that's going to be his model for as long as he's going to be there. Uh, Paul, this season you're in the Champions League. Uh, you got in top four last year, uh, last year as well. Going into the season, everyone has expectations. What are you expecting mm -hmm. from Newcastle this year? Um, top six, actually, um, because I think the the results were probably two or three seasons ahead of the financial ability to keep within financial fair play. I know in Manchester you don't bother, but um, we're trying to do things correctly and keep within those barriers. And we couldn't really get rid of some of the Ashley sponsorships, for instance. We got rid of one, brought a new one in this year. But we're still, you know, with Castro, I think we get some like six or seven million a year where we could be getting 50 or 60 million. But unless we can get the Nike or something like that to take us over, it makes a hell of a difference. So... Us actually overachieving last year is probably going to have a little bit of a, um, yeah, a little bit of an effect. Uh, but mm. I think you know, six top four, top six, somewhere around there, I'll, I'll be happy here in the cup. Thank you, Paul. Fantastic call. Always nice to hear from Newcastle fans because they're always so happy and positive about what's going on. And I don't disagree with what you're saying about Harvey Barnes. I mean, this is the sort of signing that Eddie Howe makes. But can Newcastle get top four this year? It'd be very interesting.